Are you a broken empath? Watch out for these 10 warning signs. Hey, empathic souls. If you often feel like you're being taken advantage of and find yourself overwhelmed by the emotions of others, this video is tailor-made for you. We're diving into the realm of broken empaths and shedding light on 10 powerful warning signs that your empathic abilities might be a bit out of balance. Being an empath is a unique journey filled with deep feelings and intense connections with others. You as an empath embody kindness, optimism, compassion, and generosity, making you a beacon of positivity in people's lives. However, this sensitivity comes at a cost as you can absorb both the positive and negative emotions of those around you, making you vulnerable to manipulation, especially by narcissists. In this video, we'll explore the red flags that suggest your empathic powers might be a bit strained, affecting your mental and emotional well-being. It's crucial to recognize and address these signs to ensure a healthier empathic experience. If you resonate with the empathic journey or have experienced the challenges of being an empath, Show your support by hitting the like button, sharing your thoughts in the comments, and subscribing for more insightful content. Let's embark on this exploration together, uncovering the warning signs and finding ways to restore balance to our empathic abilities. Ready? Let's dive in. Number one, they get really down. Depression hits hard when empaths are broken. It's like this overwhelming force that comes crashing in when empaths go through the tough stuff we've talked about. For them, depression doesn't play by one set of rules. It shows up differently for each person. One major sign is that they lose interest in things they used to love. Hobbies, passions, dreams, all of it feels empty and meaningless. Depression's weight turns even simple tasks into a big deal, draining energy and motivation. It can even lead empaths to think about escaping from those overwhelming feelings and the constant loneliness. But remember, these thoughts come from immense suffering, not a desire to harm themselves. Number two, they're emotionally wiped out. Empaths, often called emotional sponges, can soak up others' feelings. But when they're broken, they've hit a limit. They can't handle carrying everyone else's emotions on top of their own struggles. Imagine a dry sponge soaking up water. As it fills up, it gets heavier. The same goes for empaths. Soaking up a bunch of emotions makes their hearts heavy, leaving them emotionally drained. They forget about their mental well-being in the process. Number three, sleep becomes a challenge. Broken empaths often face sleep issues. Some struggle to sleep, dealing with insomnia fueled by overthinking and anxiety. They replay moments, wondering if they did something to deserve mistreatment, especially from narcissists. On the flip side, some empaths use excessive sleep as an escape. Lacking motivation and energy, they find solace in staying in bed, trying to escape the pain caused by others. Importantly, the exhaustion felt by empaths isn't the typical kind that a good night's sleep can fix. Number 4. Eating Habits Go Haywire Broken empaths might find themselves prone to eating disorders, either overeating or losing their appetite. Food or drinks become a way to cope and seek comfort. Stress eating takes a toll on their well-being, leading to health issues like obesity, high blood pressure, and more. On the other hand, some empaths lose interest in eating altogether, putting them at risk of conditions like ulcers, anorexia, and other problems related to rapid weight loss. Number five, they shut down emotionally. After releasing all the emotions, including those they absorb, empaths hit a point where they become emotionally numb. It's not a choice, but a defense mechanism to shield themselves from more emotional harm. At this stage, they feel nothing, not even the harm from their abusers. The emotional numbness is a means of self-preservation, not indifference. Empaths become unsure which emotions to embrace or reject, adding to their emotional struggle and reducing their overall sensitivity and empathy. Number six, they crave alone time. Broken empaths hit a phase where mingling with others feels scary because of the pain they've been through. So they pull back, thinking it shields them from more harm. Initially, it's a roller coaster of emotions despair, guilt, self pity, and loneliness. 
but over time, they get used to the solo vibe, even finding comfort in their own company. During this alone time, empaths learn self-sufficiency, embracing their flaws, and eventually loving themselves without caring about others' opinions. Number 7. They lose sight of themselves. When empaths are broken, they reach a point where they question their identity due to the abuse inflicted by their tormentors. Doubts about their abilities, worth, and talents creep in from the manipulative tactics of their abusers. Temporarily losing themselves becomes part of the healing process. Sometimes, being lost is the first step to finding oneself again. Number 8. They struggle with trust. Betrayal cheating, and manipulation create a fortress of trust issues for empaths as a defense mechanism. These experiences shape how they see others, making trust a tough nut to crack. Their intuition takes a hit, too, due to fear and lack of trust. It becomes challenging for them to reconnect with instincts that use to guide them. Fear dominates their decision-making, especially when deciding who to let into their lives. Can you blame them for being cautious? Number 9. They lose interest in everything. Empaths, usually full of positive energy, can adapt to different social and emotional situations. Yet when they're broken, they lose interest and excitement in pretty much everything and everyone. Even the most responsive empaths become unresponsive to external influences. The loss of enthusiasm can stick with them for a long time, lingering throughout days, weeks, months, or even years. Number 10. They feel empty and drained. When empaths are stripped of their innate qualities by relentless manipulation and abuse, they end up feeling empty. Instead of reaching out to uplift others, they subtly withdraw, protecting what little they have left. In their lowest moments, empaths struggle to find the strength and love to care for themselves, making it hard to extend the empathy, solace, or assistance they once effortlessly provided. Healing becomes crucial for them to regain their ability to offer support to those who truly deserve it. Before we wrap up, I want to acknowledge the heaviness of the topics we've discussed. If you or someone you know resonates with these signs and is going through a tough time, it's important to reach out for support. Depression, emotional exhaustion, sleep issues, disrupted eating habits, emotional numbness, a desire for solitude, a loss of identity, trust struggles, disinterest, and feeling empty are profound challenges. If you found this information helpful or insightful, please consider hitting the like button to show your support. Sharing this video might also help someone who needs to hear these words, so please share it with those who might benefit. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on content aimed at fostering understanding and support. Remember, you're not alone in facing these challenges. In the video description, you'll find a link to our free book and information about one-on-one -on -one consultations. Healing is a journey and support is available. Take care and let's continue supporting each other on this path.